There are also these white markings on the side, and according to me, Burr, it's supposed to be emergency exit instructions. You can see it says coach class on the side, and there are some seating for the interior. Now, if you want to, there's actually a separate lighting kit where you can add it so it lights up on the tracks. And you can see some nice ribbing detail on the side, and it is in phase 6, which is what they use today. And here's what it looks like on the end. You can see there's a blue and white caps for the head end power, which distributes electricity. And here's what it looks like underneath. You can see there's plenty of boxes. There's wires going across the middle section, and you can also see some ribs for some structure. And unfortunately, the other decal sheet was a bit folded up, part of the box that sticks up inside. And I also noticed one of the Amfleet's boxes underneath is crooked compared to the other one, which is completely flat across. Now before I unbox this, I got this from Lombard Hobby for $10 off because apparently their box is broken and damaged, but everything should be good. So here is the number 72. It's pretty much the same thing as number 5 if you've seen my last P42 unboxing video. And I got this just so I have both locomotives in DC. And here they are compared to the Amfleet 2s. As you can see the Amfleet 2s are very very long. Probably the longest car in my collection so far. So the way the coupling and the gangway are set up, you can't just connect them together on the track. You actually have to raise it up because the gangway gets in the way of the coupler. So I had this issue where it would derail on the curve and I thought maybe it needs a bigger radius so I added a larger curve but it still would derail. The weird thing is if I hold it down it actually does stay on the track so the radius isn't an issue it's something with the trucks. So this is the Labelle 107 oil lubrication that you can use for your model trains and that's actually what they recommended I buy. It does come with a nozzle to applicate it on the trucks.
At this point, I was doubtful it would actually work, but I decided not to give up and just try to run it on the tracks more just to get the oil deep in there. It actually worked. So when I originally filmed this video, I didn't have the lubricant so one of the amphletes would always derail. That's why you see me operating the train mostly in a straight line or just with one coach.
So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I think Walters did a pretty good job on the Amfleet 2s. I was really looking forward to this since I do like contemporary Amtrak trains and that's what I wanted to model. The Bachman ones are Amfleet 1s, but they made their trucks pretty boxy, which I don't like. Definitely, if you are buying this, make sure you get the lubricants for the wheel sets or else it's just gonna derail on corners. So it is a mandatory must. At the LaBelle 107, the one I got, I just got it off eBay for like $7. It's not that much. If you're looking for the Amfleet 2s, they're still selling them on train World.com, which is where I got them from and the p42 that came from Lombard hobby which is kind of rare I was just like browsing the site and randomly a p42 appear <laughs> if you are interested in seeing some more Amtrak HO scale trains Let me know in the comments section down below I am kind of interested in getting the Kata Superliners the Bachman and Fleet one and Rapido's horizon cars So make sure you're subscribed to get notified when I release those videos. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one Bye. Thank you.